Welcome to English Stories for Listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you genuinely want to be fluent in English. Once upon a time, in a small village, there was a boy named Sam. Sam was very poor. He lived with his mother, brother and sister. Sam's father had died when he was very young. His mother, a kind and hard-working woman, did everything she could to take care of them. She taught Sam to be strong and kind, to always do his best, and to never give up. Every morning, Sam woke up early to help his mother. They had a small garden where they grew vegetables. Sam watered the plants and pulled out the weeds. His mother cooked simple meals for them, and Sam always helped her. They did not have much, but they had each other. One day, Sam's mother got very sick. She became weaker and weaker every day. Sam did his best to take care of her. He cooked the meals, cleaned the house, and took care of his brother and sister. He hoped his mother would get better, but deep down he knew she was very sick. One night when the stars were bright in the sky, Sam's mother called him to her bedside. Her voice was weak, but her eyes were full of love. Sam, she said softly, I need you to promise me something. Sam held his mother's hand and said, What is it, Mum? she said. Promise me that you will take care of your brother and sister. Promise me that you will never give up, no matter how hard life gets. Sam's eyes filled with tears. But he nodded. I promise, Mum, he said with a trembling voice. His mother smiled and said, I know you will. You are a good boy, Sam. Always remember that I love you. A few days later, Sam's mother passed away. Sam was very sad, but he remembered his promise. He took care of his brother and sister. They were all very young, but Sam tried his best. He worked very hard to earn money. He did many small jobs, like working in the fields, cleaning houses and carrying water for the villagers. Every day was a struggle, but Sam never gave up. Life was very hard for Sam. He was just a boy, but he had to be strong. He had to be both a brother and a father to his siblings. Sometimes, when his brother and sister were asleep, Sam would cry alone. He cried because he missed his mother. He cried because he was tired. He cried because life was so hard. But he never cried in front of his brother and sister. He wanted to be strong for them. Sam's brother John was eight years old and his sister Mary was six. They did not understand why their mother was gone, but Sam did his best to comfort them. He made sure they had food to eat and clothes to wear. He helped them with their homework and played with them when he had time. Sam worked many jobs to earn money. He worked in the fields, planting and harvesting crops. He cleaned houses and washed clothes for the villagers. He even carried water from the well to people's homes. It was hard work, but Sam never complained. He knew he had to take care of his family. At night, after working all day, Sam would sit by the small lamp in their house and study. He wanted to learn as much as he could. He wanted to be able to get a better job someday. He studied reading, writing and math. He practiced speaking English because he knew it would help him find better opportunities. Even though he was always tired, Sam never gave up. He remembered his promise to his mother and kept going. He wanted to make her proud. Years passed and Sam grew older. He still worked very hard 
but he also wanted to learn more. He wanted to study and become better. So he started going to night school. He learned to read and write better. He learned English and practiced speaking every day. He wanted to be able to talk to more people and find better jobs. Sam studied very hard. He would work all day and study all night. He was always tired, but he never gave up. He remembered his promise to his mother and kept going. One day, a man from the city came to the village. He was looking for workers to help in his factory. The man saw how hard Sam worked and offered him a job. It was a good job and Sam was very happy. He knew this was his chance to make a better life for his family. Sam moved to the city and started working in the factory. He worked very hard and saved as much money as he could. He sent money to his brother and sister so they could go to school too. He wanted them to have a better life than he did. In the city, Sam met a girl named Lily. She was very kind and beautiful. They became good friends. Sam told Lily about his life, his struggles and his promise to his mother. Lily was very touched by his story. She admired Sam's strength and determination. Sam and Lily spent a lot of time together. They went for walks in the park, talked about their dreams and supported each other. Sam was happy to have a friend who understood him and cared about him. Sam and Lily's friendship grew stronger every day. They shared their hopes and dreams and Lily encouraged Sam to keep studying and working hard. She believed in him and wanted to see him succeed. One day, Sam decided to take Lily to the village to meet his brother and sister. He wanted them to know the person who had become so important to him. When they arrived at the village, John and Mary were very happy to see Sam. They were also excited to meet Lily. Lily was kind and warm and she quickly became friends with John and Mary. She played with them, helped them with their homework and told them stories. John and Mary liked Lily very much and were happy to see Sam so happy. After their visit to the village, Sam and Lily grew even closer. They realized they had fallen in love with each other. Sam felt very lucky to have Lily in his life. She made him happy and gave him strength to keep going. Sam and Lily decided to get married. They wanted to build a life together and support each other. Sam was very happy. He brought his brother and sister to live with him and Lily in the city. They all lived together and were very happy. Even after getting married and starting a new life, Sam never forgot his promise to his mother. He continued to work hard and take care of his family. He always made sure his brother and sister were happy and taken care of. He encouraged them to study hard and follow their dreams. Sam's brother, John, wanted to be a doctor. Sam supported him in every way he could. He worked extra hours to pay for John's school fees and books. John studied hard and eventually got into medical school. Sam was very proud of him. Sam's sister, Mary, wanted to be a teacher. Sam helped her go to college. Mary studied hard and became a teacher. She loved teaching children and making a difference in their lives. Sam was very proud of her too. Even though life was hard, Sam never gave up. He worked hard, studied hard and took care of his family. He always remembered his promise to his mother and tried his best to be a good person. 
years went by, and Sam's hard work paid off. He got promoted at his job and started earning more money. He was able to buy a nice house for his family. They all lived together and were very happy. One day, Sam's brother and sister came to him with big news. John had finished medical school and was now a doctor. Mary had become a teacher and was working at a school in the city. They were both very happy and grateful to Sam for all his help and support. Sam John said, We couldn't have done this without you. You have always been there for us, taking care of us and helping us follow our dreams. Thank you. Yes, Sam Mary said, you have been like a father to us. We are so grateful for everything you have done. Sam smiled and hugged his brother and sister. I am so proud of both of you, he said. Mom would be so proud too. Always remember to be kind and help others, just like she taught us. Life seemed perfect for Sam and his family, but challenges never stopped coming. One day, the factory where Sam worked announced it would be closing. Sam was worried. He had worked so hard to build a good life for his family, and now he faced losing his job. Sam searched for new jobs every day. He went to many interviews but did not find a job right away. It was a hard time for him, but he did not give up. He remembered his promise to his mother and kept going. Lily was very supportive during this time. She encouraged Sam to keep trying and not lose hope. She believed in him and knew he would find a way. Sam was grateful for Lily's love and support. While searching for a new job, Sam continued to study. He wanted to improve his skills and be ready for any opportunity that came his way. He took online courses in English and communication skills. He practiced speaking and writing every day. One day, Sam found a job opening at a big company. They were looking for someone with good communication skills and a strong work ethic. Sam applied for the job and was called for an interview. He was nervous but also hopeful. Sam prepared well for the interview. He practiced answering questions and speaking clearly. He wanted to show the company that he was the right person for the job. When the day of the interview came, Sam was ready. He dressed in his best clothes and went to the company with confidence. During the interview, he spoke clearly and confidently. He shared his story and talked about his hard work and determination. The interviewers were impressed with Sam. They saw his potential and offered him the job. Sam was overjoyed. He thanked them and accepted the offer. Sam started his new job with excitement and determination. He worked hard and learned quickly. His new job was challenging, but Sam enjoyed it. He felt proud of himself for not giving up and finding a new opportunity. With his new job, Sam was able to take even better care of his family. He continued to support his brother and sister in their careers. He also saved money for the future and planned to help others in need. Sam and Lily continued to be happy together. They supported each other and built a loving home. Sam never forgot his promise to his mother and always worked hard to be the best person he could be. John became a successful doctor and helped many people. He opened a clinic in the village to provide medical care to those who could not afford it. He was very grateful to Sam for helping him achieve his dream. Mary became a beloved teacher. She inspired many children and helped them learn and grow. 
She was also very grateful to Sam for supporting her education and helping her become a teacher. Sam's story is a reminder that no matter how hard life gets, we should never give up. With hard work, determination and kindness, we can overcome any obstacle and achieve our dreams. As Sam's life continued to improve, he remembered the struggles he had faced and the kindness of the people who had helped him along the way. He wanted to give back to his community and help others who were facing similar challenges. Sam and Lily decided to start a charity to help poor children in the village. They wanted to provide them with food, clothing and education. They believed that every child deserved a chance to succeed, just like Sam had. The charity grew quickly thanks to the hard work and dedication of Sam, Lily, John and Mary. They worked together to raise funds and provide support to the children in need. They built a school, a clinic and a community centre where children could learn, play and receive medical care. Sam was very happy to see the positive impact they were making. He knew that his mother would be proud of him he had kept his promise to her and had built a better life for his family and his community. Sam and Lily's love for each other continued to grow. They were very happy together and supported each other in every way. They had two children, a boy and a girl, who brought even more joy to their lives. Sam was a loving father. He spent time with his children, teaching them, playing with them, and telling them stories. He wanted them to grow up to be kind, strong, and hard-working, just like their grandmother had taught him to be. Lily was a wonderful mother. She cared for their children with love and patience. She taught them to be kind and to help others. Together, Sam and Lily built a loving and happy home for their family. Even though Sam had achieved so much, he knew that life was a journey with many challenges and opportunities. He continued to work hard, learn and grow. He always remembered his promise to his mother and tried to be the best person he could be. Sam's story is a reminder that no matter how hard life gets, we should never give up. With hard work, determination and kindness, we can overcome any obstacle and achieve our dreams. And most importantly, we should always remember to help others and give back to our communities. Sam's journey continues and he faces new challenges and opportunities every day. But with the love and support of his family and the memory of his mother's teachings, he knows he can overcome anything.